Hi you guys, we're in chapter 11, section 1. We're looking at space figures and cross-sections. Now our first objective says, I can identify vertices, edges, and faces of a polyhedron. So these are all new vocab words for us. We should probably know what vertices is, or means already, but edges and faces and polyhedron, those are going to be new vocab words you'll be expected to understand. Our next objective is I can use and verify Euler's formula with 2D and 3D objects. So Euler's formula is going, going to be a new formula that you learn. You should check right now on your reference sheet and see if that formula is on there or if that's something you need to have memorized for the end of course exam. And our last objective is I can describe and draw cross sections. Lastly, one last vocab word for us, cross sections. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's check out this vocab. A polyhedron, well, a polyhedron is a space figure. It's a three-dimensional figure whose surfaces are polygons. Each polygon is considered a face of the polyhedron. And that's, that's really the sides, right? So all of the sides of the polyhedron is a face. An edge is a segment that is formed by the intersection of two faces. So looking at the diagram, well, here's a face up top, and then here's a face on the side. So right here, that's considered an edge. Also, if we took the back and then the side, then here is an edge. If we took the top and the front, then here is an edge. If we took the bottom and this side, then here is an edge. Last, a vertex is a point where three or more edges intersect. So notice all, all the edges, or all the points where all the edges come together. All right, moving on. All right, so let's check out our first example, or our first problem. It says, how many vertices, edges, and faces are in the polyhedron at the right? List them. All right, so in my example, First, I'm going to list all my vertices. And remember, a vertice is a point where three or more edges intersect. So, D, E, F, G, and H is a point where three or more edges intersect. So I'm going to go ahead and list those. D, E, F, G, and H. Next is our edges. Well, our edges, again, is a segment that is formed by the intersection of two faces. So, DE is formed by the triangle up here and the quadrilateral on the bottom, EF by this triangle and the quadrilateral, GF by this triangle and the quadrilateral on the bottom, uh, GD by the triangle and the quadrilateral on the bottom, and then also formed by all the triangles on top, we have DH by those two, we have HE by these two, we have HF by those two, we have HG by those two. So I just need to list all of those. And again, these edges are segments, so I'm going to represent them as segments. We said DE, EF, FG, G, D, then we have D, H, E, H, F, H, and G, H. So all together I have eight edges. Faces, well each polygon is a face of the polyhedron. So each of my polygons is what I'm representing for faces. I have all the triangles around the top, which is four of them, and then I have this quadrilateral on the bottom. So representing those, I'm going to use my symbol for triangle. I have triangle D, E, H. I have triangle E, F, H. Triangle F, G, H and triangle G, D, H. And then on the bottom, I have the quadrilateral 
I'm not positive what kind of quadrilateral it is. So I'm just writing out the word quadrilateral. And I'll start with D, E, F, G. All right, so you try. Here's your shape over here. I want you to do the same thing. List all the vertices, the edges, and the faces. All right, let's check out Euler's formula. Now first, Leonard Euler, he was a Swiss mathematician and he discovered a relationship among the numbers of, among the numbers of faces, vertices, and edges of any polyhedron. This is known as Euler's formula. So what he did is he said the sum of the number of the faces, so F stands for faces, so the sum of the faces and the vertices, so V stands for vertices, is equal to the number of edges plus two. So faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. So we're gonna use Euler's formula, we're gonna verify it. We're gonna find how many vertices, edges, and faces this polyhedron at the right has and make sure that it works. All right, so I'm gonna count my faces first. I have this polygon on top, I have this polygon on the bottom, so that's two. And then we have these quadrilaterals um, all the way around. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus two, we have for our faces, we have eight. So that's gonna be my F. For vertices, vertices, remember, that's considered the point where the three or more edges intersect. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have six on bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a total of six plus six, we have 12. So plus our vertices, and that's 12. And this is supposed to be equal to edges plus two. So counting up our edges. Well, for the shape on top, the edge for all these quadrilaterals, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have six on bottom too then. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus six, we have 12 so far. Then we have these edges around with these quadrilaterals. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So 12 plus six, we have 18. And let's make sure these work. So eight plus 12 gives us 20. And then is that equal to 18 plus two? Yes, it is, 20 equals 20. All right, so, so now let's use Euler's formula to find the missing number. So here's our example, and we wanna go ahead and write the formula. Faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. And we can go ahead and write it out down below too. So faces, we don't know, so we'll say x plus vertices, 20, equals edges, 30, plus two. And now we just have a little algebraic problem that we need to solve. So 30 plus two gives me 32. So x plus 20 equals 32. And then subtracting 20 on both sides, I get x is equal to 10. So the amount of faces I have is 10. So you try. Here's your problem over here. Check it out, use the formula, and then move on. All right, so now we're gonna verify Euler's formula in two dimensions. In two dimensions, Euler's formula reduces to faces plus vertices equals edges plus one, where F is the number of regions formed by V vertices linked by E segments. So you wanna take note of the difference for 3D and 2D. And you wanna take notice of the difference here in our formula, where it's just plus one for two dimensions, and then it's plus two for a three-dimensional figure. All right, so let's look at our first example and let's write out our formula. F plus V is equal to E plus one. All right, so first I'm gonna count how many faces I have. And notice it says faces is the same thing as regions. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight faces. Now I'm gonna add or count my vertices. So there looks like there's a lot here. 
And for my vertices here, obviously I can't see if it's three or more that come together. So it just has to be two, two or more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there's my vertices, 22. And this is equal to my edges. And notice it says edges is the same thing as just segments. So we're counting segments. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have the top and bottom of all those. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we have all the segments of the shape on top. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have 29 of those plus one. So let's see if this is a true statement. Eight plus 22 is 30, and this is equal to 29 plus one, which is also 30. Perfect. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and check out, see if Euler's formula works. Find the number of faces, vertices, and edges, and write this up. All right, so here's the cross section that we were talking about at the beginning. Now, a cross section is the intersection of a solid and a plane. You can think of it as a very thin slice of the solid. So here's our solid shape. And our cross section is this plane that's cutting through it and it creates this thin little slice of the solid. So that's our cross section here, this triangle. So a cross section kind of refers to the shape made when you intersect the solid figure and just this plane here. So let's describe a cross section. Let's determine what that shape is. It says, what is the cross section formed by the plane and the solid at the right? So here's our figure over here that you're initially looking at. And here's your plane cutting through this solid. And you have to imagine, you know, what shape is created over here. Well, here's a drawing right here to help you to see it. And it says the cross section is a rectangle. And now, you know, when you draw it this way, it's, it's pretty clearly seen. But it's not too easy to imagine over here. But I want you guys to go ahead and try this. You try. It says, what is the cross section formed by a horizontal plane? So if we just had a plane cutting this through this way, then what kind of shape would we have? What kind of shape would be created here? And then what about a vertical, and that's supposed to be the word plane, going through the center of the object? So again, we have a vertical plane cutting it this way, and you're trying to imagine what kind of shape is created here. All right, well, that's the last of it, you guys. So go back through, make sure you have good notes, make sure you have my examples as well as your tries, and then I'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good one.